tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Google Forms, Google Spreadsheets, and two add-ons for forms to schedule parent-teacher conferences paperlessly. So we're starting out in a Google Form. We've called it Parent-Teacher Conferences Fall 2014. And if you're going to do this, the first thing you have to do is deselect Require Burlington Public Schools login to view the form. Otherwise, parents will not be able to view and submit the form because they're outside of our domain. So make sure you do that. And as I said, this is called Parent Teacher Conferences Fall 2014. I have a brief description letting parents know that the conferences will be Monday the 10th from 7.30 to 2.30, and each conference is going to be 15 minutes long. So I'm asking for the son or daughter's first and last name, as well as the parent's first and last name. Sometimes they can be different. And then the parent email address. And then I've broken down the conference times uh, between 7.30 and 10 for early morning, mid-morning 10.15 to noon, and then 12.30 to 2.30. So this is going to make the Google form look really clean for parents and then I'm going to redirect the parents to a page based on whichever choice that they make here. So we're going to create three separate pages right now and to do so you're going to click on this drop down menu and add item and you're going to click on page break and we're going to call this conferences 730 to 10. You can add a description if you'd like or you can just click done and then add the next page break which is going to be conferences 1015 to 12 and then click done and then the last one is going to be conferences 1230 to 230 and then click done and then from there you are going to come over to where it says continue to next page and you're going to actually change that to submit the form after parents have selected their time you want them to just go ahead and su submit the form so you're going to do that for all three of the page breaks that you just made and then once you've done that you're going to come back over to this time of day question and you're going to make the um, redirection manually with those pages so we're going to make sure that this go to page based on answer box is checked off and then where it says between 7:30 and 10 we don't want them to continue to the next page we want them to go to page 2 for 7:30 to 10 and then we want them to go to page 3 if they select between 10 15 and noon and then if they select between 12 30 and 2 30 we want them to go to page 4 and then we want to click done so now I'm going to show you how to use a Google spreadsheet to instantly populate the conference times for each of the um, pieces of the, the morning that you've scheduled, the morning, the mid-afternoon, and the afternoon. So what we'll do is we'll go into the spreadsheet and we're going to select the column and we're going to make sure that it is formatted as time. So you'll click this one, two, three drop down menu and make sure time is selected. Once you've done that, you're going to go into cell A1 and you're going to type 7.30 and then hit enter and you'll notice the AM popped up because it is time. And then in cell A2, you can type the formula. And the formula is equals 7.30 plus, and then you're going to type time and then you're going to do parentheses 0 comma 15 for 15 minutes and then 0 for the seconds and then close parentheses and then you're going to hit enter. If you want to make your conferences five or ten minutes long you can change that fifteen to however long you want your conferences to be once you've done that you're going to scroll all the way down to cell A29 if you're doing fifteen minute conferences it's going to be cell A29 because I've already tested that and then you'll see it instantly calculated the times for me which is a huge time saver so now we're ready to put these times into the form so what we'll do is we're going to select 730 to 10 and we're going to copy and then we're going to go into the form. We're going to go to the conference 730 to 10, and we're going to add now a multiple choice question. So we'll say, select your conference time. And we're going to click in the option and then paste, and then you'll see all of the times automatically populated for me very, very quickly, which is which is a great time saver. So now we'll do the same thing for conferences 10, 15 to 12. We'll select the drop down in a multiple choice question. We'll say, please select your time to meet. And go back into option one, go to our spreadsheet, and we want to take 10, 15 to noon. Copy that, go into the spreadsheet and paste. And then we'll do 
that final um, conference time between 12.30 and 2.30. Please select a time to meet. And then we'll go into the spreadsheet and we will take 12.30 to 2.30 and paste. And then we're done. And so now we can look at the form live to see what the parents will see. So if I click on View Live Form, I added a custom header, a picture of my class. There's my title, son or daughter's first and last name, parent's name, email. And then between 7.30 and 10, I can click there and hit Continue. And then you'll see all my times are listed, and there's that Submit button. So you could test that for all three of the time ranges that you have set up to make sure that they are accurate. And it looks like so far so good. We have the Submit button after our times are listed. We'll just verify 12.30 to 2.30 is all set up correctly, and it is. So now I'm going to show you how to add the add-ons in the form so that you can take advantage of some additional features. So the first thing you have to do is go to your add-ons menu, and I'm going to show, show you first how to use form notifications. You may need to search for it if it's not there, but you'll see form notifications is here. And to launch it, you're going to click on the plus free it'll be checking and then you can click accept and then it will be working and now you're ready to configure those notifications so what you'll do to launch it is you'll go to add-ons then form notifications and then click on configure and it will pop up over here so you want to check off notify me and you'll list your email address and then you can have this custom so by default you'll receive a notification after 10 responses but you could change this to one so if you really want to plan your day accordingly you can make this whatever number you want you can also check off notify respondents and you'll want to click on this drop down and you'll want to click on parent email address that's the question that asks for their email address then you can type in a custom notification so I wrote I look forward to meeting with you on the 10th and discussing your child's progress in my class and then you can click save and those settings will be saved so that's the first notification that's really helpful and the second one is called choice eliminator so I'm going to go to add-ons again and I'm going to click on get add-ons and then I'm going to type in choice eliminator and I'm going to click plus free to launch it and then accept and this will eliminate the choices from all of these time slots. So as a, if a parent selects 12.30, the next parent to choose an afternoon time slot will no longer see this 12.30. So this is a great tool um, to avoid double booking. Um, and you won't have to do any phone calling or any multiple follow-ups with emails. So to use this add-on, you're going to click on the add-ons menu and then choice eliminator and then start. That'll be working down here, and then it pops up over here on the right. And it's going to load the questions that are multiple choice. This question here, if you set up your form to look exactly like mine, I've already tested this. Do not um, eliminate choices from this question. Leave that one as is, the time of day where you break down your mo early morning, mid-morning, and afternoon time slots. Leave that as is, because if you do select that, it'll just take away the question entirely and there'll be only one choice listed by a parent so I already tested that and made the mistake for you so you don't have to make it yourself so but what you do want to um, eliminate choices from is are these questions here so select your conference time I believe I used that uh, wording for the 7:30 to 10 please select your time to meet. You'd probably want to make this exact but I, I made it a little bit different for each one just for demo purposes so I'm going to click on eliminate choices from that question and then eliminate choices from the afternoon section. I'm going to eliminate choices there and then I'm going to click save and it has been saved so then I can close that notification there. So now again I can test this out if I click on view live form and I can show you from the teacher and from the parent side what this is going to look like. So I could fill this out my son or daughter's first name, I'll say John Smith, and then I'll say Jen Sheffer, and I'm going to use my B 
BHS help desk 121 at gmail.com. This, this uh, Gmail account is outside of the domain, so I want to demonstrate this for you. So just to make the choice eliminator obvious as well, I'm going to select between 7.30 and 10, continue, and then I'm going to select 7.30 and then submit. Now, I did not deselect edit your response in case the parent wants to make a change. I'd recommend leaving that so that they could edit the response if, if necessary, as well as submitting another response. So let's say they have two children that both have you. So let's say I also have my daughter Sally Smith is in your class. So I need to schedule a second conference with you. And I'm going to, again, put in that domain um, address that's outside the domain and I'm going to select 7.30 to 10 and continue and now that 7.30 choice is gone so I want obviously back-to-back -back conferences with uh, you so I can talk about both John and Sally so I'm going to select 7.45 and then I'm going to select submit so now I can go over into the teacher account this is my teacher um, BPS training account that's going to load and you'll see I received the notification that um, there was a submission for the parent-teacher conferences fall 2014. I've received one response so far and then I can go back into my inbox and then there's the second I've received two responses so far. So those are the email notifications that you'll receive and then if I go into my um, the um, Gmail account that I used that was outside of the domain I have um, two emails here and you'll see thank you for filling out the parent teacher conference fall 2014 form and then I have that notification I look forward to meeting with you on the 10th and discussing your child's progress in my class so that's the email address that your parent will receive the the conference time is not listed there that is the I will say that's one of the disadvantages but still this is a really um, fast and efficient way to schedule conferences um, quickly with parents and without using any paper. And then as you can see here, I have two responses. So I could look and view the responses in my spreadsheet that gets automatically generated for me. And then if I come down here, I can see that um, Jen Sheffer in, is John Smith's mom. And there's the email. And she wants to meet with me at 7.30. And then she wants to meet with me at 7.45 to talk about Sally. So this is an instance where the parent has a different last name um, from their child. So I would love to work with you individually if you want to go over this. Um, but if you follow the steps in this tutorial, you should be able to schedule these conferences on your own. Thanks so much for watching.